Welcome to Season Citizens Present. Now that was a surprise for our audience that usually watches our program. And we will be visiting in just a minute with a young lady who has just finished singing. I am Lou Beyer, Resource Coordinator for the Commission on Aging, who is the sponsor of today's program. And it is my pleasure today to visit with two ladies who are involved in the Miss Muscatine pageant. And uh, we will meet both the representative for the county and the force behind that representative. So it is my pleasure at this time to welcome our two guests today. Miss Muscatine County is Robin Weeks. Welcome to the program, Robin. Thank you, Lou. I know how busy you are, so we appreciate <laughs> your coming today. And I said there is a force behind Miss Muscatine County, and we would like to welcome our other guest, Eddie Gregerson, who Hello. is that force, and she is business manager, and you're also the traveling companion for Miss Muscatine County. Right. We want to welcome both of you ladies today. Now, we have a short program. It seems like the half an hour goes so fast when we're talking mm -hmm. uh, in... Uh, to interesting people <laughs> and uh, we have a lot to cover here so what we'd like to do is sort of break it into three parts we'd like to have you tell us a little bit about how you became interested in pageants and what led up to your becoming Miss Muscatine County okay well first of all it started when I was just a small girl probably in the year, early grade school years and I remember watching the Miss America pageants on television. It was such a thrill for me. And every time someone would come on and sing, I'd try to imitate that. Or if they were dancers, I'd try to do that. And so it was inbred in me when I was very young. And it's just gotten more so through the years. Well, you seem so relaxed and self-assured that I'm sure that, <laughs> that uh, this is a 
sort of new to you, but then in the long run, you've had a lot of experience, so it shows in your mannerisms. Well, thank and you, Lou. <laughs> so I think you'll do well in the upcoming uh, pageant. And so we're going to be talking about the upcoming pageant more today than, than anything else, because I know you've uh, had a lot of preparation, right. and we'd like to have you tell us uh, about uh, the different things that you've been doing, your activities, and the preparations for the June pageant. Okay, well, as many other queens have done, you do the usual dieting and uh, exercising, tanning, and, and by the way, I got to use many of my free uh, things that I got this last year. I, I had a membership at the Racquetball Club. I'll put a little plug in here for, for some of the businesses. I had a membership at the Racquetball Club, the Park Avenue Club. Also, I had free nails from Pro Hair Design Fantastic. and tanning from uh, Pro Tanning. Uh, all of those things I've used this year in my preparation. But then there are other things that you have to do, such as interviewing. Uh, one of the, the stiffest parts of competition is the interview, and you're interviewed by five judges, and they can ask you anything, anything at all. And so you have to really be prepared for that. And, and throughout the year, I've spent lots of my time reading the newspapers, watching the news, um, just discussing anything with people. So they're likely to come up with current events and world news and local and right. anything. Anything is possible. <laughs> do you ever find that you're sort of stumped for an answer? No, that's the worst thing you can do is ever be stumped for an answer. Um, that you're always told that if you can't think of an answer at that moment, say something like, I'll come on to, I'll come back to that later, but it's best uh, well, that's why you have to be so prepared to always have an answer. But if you don't, you better think up one real quick. <laughs> it's better than saying, uh, 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 uh. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, like some, some girls have maybe made the mistake of saying, well, I don't really have an opinion on that, but that's, that's a fatal mistake. You never you always have an opinion about You something. should have an opinion on whatever. Yes. All right. And let's go on beyond the interviews. Something um, you, we, we've oh. talked about your your appearance and your interviews. I know you do a lot more than that. <laughs> we'll yes. Keep going. Um, since about January, we have spent endless hours uh, preparing for the wardrobe part. And, and that final night, you don't really think that it's going to take up that much time. You know, you come out one night and you show off all of your wardrobe. But we have spent several days, Vicki Weber, my chaperone, and I spent several days in Chicago looking for just the right thing. Uh, also, we've gone to North Park Mall and all over the Quad Cities shopping um, several days. And even right now, we're still getting last minute things. Evie <laughs> knows all about this. Every time she sees me now, did you get this and this and this just to make sure we have everything? So that takes a lot of time too. And I notice your accessories are always so nice. And when we <laughs> walked into the, into the studio today, one of the first things that had to go was your lovely necklace yes. that, that set it off so well so she did have a necklace that had to be removed and, <laughs> and, and it was so beautiful. I, I just want to put another little plug in that's from Accessories Allowed. Vicki Weber and Chris Ridge own it and I'll show off my earrings. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. one of the gifts that, the, that was given to me by Accessories Allowed. Well as long as we're sort of digressing here as far as the early days then um, many of the things that you are using uh, as I understand then are your gifts that you received mm -hmm. from the Miss Muscatine pageant mm -hmm. and I understand that Miss Muscatine uh, is one of the most fortunate contestants in the state yes. of Iowa. Yes she is. Uh, this year I was fortunate enough to get one thousand five hundred and fifty dollars of scholarship money which is incredible for a local pageant. Uh, until this year that was almost more than Miss Iowa got for scholarship money. Mm -hmm. So you, you know that the merchants here, uh, the businessmen, the industries are doing a wonderful job of supporting the Muscatine pageant. I think this is true of Muscatine County as a whole in whatever project uh, involves the betterment of the community and its people. Muscatine and the county seem to back yes. uh, the, the promotions that uh, were, are really important to us. Right. And let's go on then with preparations. Uh, you have also, some of the activities you have been involved in have been uh, your education. Yes, I have just completed my junior year at the University of Iowa. 
and uh, in communications. I also attended Mary Crest College, where I was also a junior, junior in communications this year, and I had two years at Muscatine Community College. So I, I'm looking forward to my senior year, but if Miss Iowa happens to come along, that I could put that off for another year. You're going to find that you'll be a very flexible young lady, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure about that. And flexibility is always easy to come by if you have somebody behind you promoting and mm -hmm. keeping your schedule, and we're happy to have <laughs> that person with us today. And I know that you've been involved, Evie, many years in promoting the Muscatine pageant. Could you mm -hmm. tell us how long and some of the duties that have been involved in your work? Okay, I'd be delighted to. I've worked with the pageant 11 years now. I started out as a chaperone, and now I am on our Miss Muscatine pageant board. And my role there is to be business manager for our reigning Miss Muscatine and to be her chaperone. So one of the first things we do after she's crowned, we go visit all the merchants, all the stores, anyone who has given her money for scholarships, gifts, which were many. Yes. We spent many days going around thanking all the people because without their support, we wouldn't have a pageant. Right. because it's thanks to all the merchants and the businesses in Muscatine we have such a wonderful pageant. Then we start out, then I meet with a girl and we make plans for appearances, just such, such as this. Uh, we kind of go by when she can come home from school. If she's away at school, it's on her breaks. If she's here in town, it's a little easier. Robin was away, but she put many miles on her car driving back and forth this year That's uh, why to make appearances. If I would win Miss Iowa, I'd really enjoy that car. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fantastic? Mine has about 95,000 on oh, it. Oh, that would so be fantastic. <laughs> I think that is just wonderful. We're also going, one of the other things we do, uh, she appears the local pageants around the county, and this Saturday night we're going to the Tama County pageant, and Robin will be introduced on stage and get to, and we'll say a few words and she'll meet the other contestants and then we appear at various service clubs and Lou has asked us we have been to your meal sites we've been to the Clark House, Musserville, uh, Wilton and West Liberty and that's one of our highlights the girls really enjoy that. We look for that, uh, forward to that every year, and we do appreciate the opportunity for the people to meet Miss Muscatine County because it is uh, our our chance to let you know that we do promote what you're doing, mm -hmm. and and we do feel proud to know that one of the young ladies from the county is representing the county so well. So we do look forward to that every year. Good, because we enjoy it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> It's our pleasure, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> well, and it's not only a way that Miss Muscatine can thank the community and the people, but it's good for her, too, mm -hmm. in the experience she gains. So when communicating, talking to people, performing her talent will all make her a better representative of Miss Iowa, which <laughs> where we'll go in two weeks. <laughs> and the amazing thing is, and, and this has happened this year, too, so many of the senior citizens will say, well, I know your grandmother, yeah. or I know your mother. <laughs> tell, us, tell us a little bit about some of the experiences you've had going to the meal sites. And well, most of the time I'll walk into a place and, and people will be busy milling around and, and not much attention really is centered on me until I put the crown on. But my grandmother goes into a place and, oh, people are surrounding her the, the minute she walks in. And I'm known most of the time as Lydia Weeks's granddaughter or Albert Weeks's granddaughter more than, than as Miss Muscatine Robin Weeks when I go places. That's <laughs> very interesting. And they've been very supporting grandparents. Oh, yes. Very I've, supportive um, of Robin. I, I couldn't ask for more supportive people than they are. Well, my whole entire family is that way. I think this brings out the best in people also. Mm -hmm. uh, pageants such as, as the uh, Miss Muscatine, or any Muscatine, or any county uh, affair, the, the uh, West Liberty Fair Queen uh, always draws a lot of attention. Yes. And I mention that because I'm from West Liberty, and I guess it's Miss Muscatine. It would be Muscatine County Fair now, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? So I do, I do note uh, that each year there is a contestant that is somebody's granddaughter, mm -hmm. and we're so proud of that. <laughs> so now I, I understand then that uh, being deeply involved in, in choosing the wardrobe, the accessories, you evidently know every meeting and every occasion that you're going to possibly uh, encounter 
throughout the interview and all, and is there a special outfit for each occasion? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> Robin, maybe you want to tell you, yes. And many of her outfits have been donated by merchants here in Muscatine. Kay's has donated her competition gown, gown and glasses mean? and where did your Where did your glasses? Glasses Smart Shop donated uh -huh. um, my interview outfit this year, right. and Kay's, as Evia said, uh, donated my evening gown, and that is a, that's an incredible expense for the girl to bear. But since Kay provided that mm -hmm. this year, it's it's made um, shopping so much easier mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. all the rest of my things mm -hmm. that I need. And her swimsuit too. Your swimsuit. Yes. I was going to ask. Uh, TCBY Craig Miller donated a hundred dollars for my swimsuit. Now you wouldn't think a <laughs> hundred dollars for a swimsuit. That sounds outlandish, but that's about how much they run when you go to the state pageants. And it has to be just the perfect one. Right. Right. All right so we have an interview outfit. We have a an evening gown. We have a swimming suit. Mm -hmm. uh, you would probably have casual wear. And a for talent outfit. A talent mm -hmm. outfit. Your casual wear. And that's part of the money that comes that that is donated for scholarships and for her wardrobe she receives. This year mm -hmm. I received uh, $750 of wardrobe money mm -hmm. and then later in the year someone anonymously donated another $200. So I've been very fortunate this year. I've received more uh, in the way of gifts and scholarship money and wardrobe money than any other Miss mm -hmm. Muscatines, which has been so helpful to me. Mm -hmm. I guess as a mother, this is of interest to me <laughs> because I do know the price of, right. of clothing and all. In the other counties, are they as generous in the clothing allowance as they are in Muscatine County? Well, they've had some problems with that before. Um, other counties, they have lots of times they have fundraisers uh, the whole county gets together and maybe would have a fundraiser for the girl or sometimes it just has to come out of her own pocket and and mm -hmm. there again I've been very fortunate mm -hmm. that I haven't um, you know being busy with school and mm -hmm. appearances I haven't had to put the time in on a, an extra job to provide that money mm -hmm. well as long as we're talking about this schooling the the cost of clothing and all this then maybe this is where we should discuss the encouragement we were going to talk about this a little later but the encouragement for young ladies to not to not uh, sit back because they think of the expense definitely oh that's uh, one of the things that does keep girls back sometimes is they say oh I can't afford this and and the other things but it really doesn't come to that big of an of an expense uh, you can borrow things. I've, I've loaned out several things myself, and people are so willing to help. They really are. Um, many shops would probably give discounts if they knew what the girl was intending to do. Um, and definitely, I don't want any girl to ever feel that way because that's not what it's about. It's about the girl themselves and not the clothing mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And if, she, if any girl wants to do it, she can. There's, there's nothing to hold her back. She can let her little light shine right, regardless right. of what she might be wearing. Right. And, uh, yes. Because the, the clothes judges don't make. Right. The judges definitely look at the person and not the clothes. Right. The clothes might enhance a little bit, right. but it doesn't overshadow right. what the girl has then inside and mm -hmm. to offer. Right. So we have our wardrobe purchased and we have our interviews almost uh, finished for the event. Let's talk about when this takes place and where and what you're expecting okay. to see. Uh, it will be held June 9th, 10th, 11th. That's in Davenport and it's at the Galvin Fine Arts Center. Uh, I believe it starts St. at St. Ambrose. At St. Ambrose. Ambrose mm -hmm. campus and it starts at 7? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. It's three nights. Um, the first night I'll come out in the swimsuit. The second night I'll do my talent. And then on the third night they pick the top ten girls and they go through all three competitions. The evening gown, uh, talent, and swimsuit. So hopefully I'll be in the top ten. So <laughs> if you have a ticket for Saturday night, hopefully I'll be able to perform for you then. Now can the public purchase these tickets? Yes. Um, they've gone pretty fast actually. Uh, I believe there still are some seats available if you call the Galvin Fine Arts Center. Now your major interview has taken place before this night, uh, before 
Mm -hmm. the final night. Right. The interview will be in private with just the people who are interviewing you. That is not part of the event. Right, right. It's uh, just the five judges in a room such as this, and it'll be held on Thursday sometime during that day, of course, before the evening. And um, I do believe that they allow some extra people in, don't they, just to... Pageant board, the Iowa pageant board people. Okay. There might be a couple of those. Just into to listen in on the interviews and maybe get some pointers for the, the new Miss Iowa, mm -hmm. some questions that she might be asked. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, uh, the uh, I would call it the stress of the interview <laughs> would be over, and it's right. it's sort of you either have it or you don't from there on because you have your talent, and uh, we're going to mention your talent briefly here okay. because you did such a fine job at the beginning well, of the program. <laughs> We'd like to tell you, uh, have you tell us what your number was that you sang for us. It was called Could Have Been and I will be performing it of course at the Miss Iowa pageant. I've, I've picked that song um, I think it was in July or, f or uh, actually January or February so I've practiced it several months and have performed it many times throughout the community. Just as a note of interest mm -hmm. for me what will you be wearing? You said you had a talent outfit. What will you be wearing when you sing that? <laughs> okay, uh, it's a. This is one of the dresses that we had and that we got in Chicago when Vicki Weber was there. I, I remember. Pink is not my favorite color, and and uh, Vicki Weber brought in a pink dress for me to try on, and I said, oh, I don't know, but I tried it on, and then I loved it after I got it on. It's a strapless. Um, dress with sequins on the top and it just goes to my knees and has a big bow over on one side that um, has the strings hanging down or the, the things coming down all the way to the floor. So. Fantastic. <laughs> this will not be televised, will no, it? it won't. I wish, wish it could be for those who can't make it. So if we want to see what you wear, we would have to get tickets yes. and go that. <laughs> yes. That Hopefully. would be a wonderful evening out, wouldn't it? And yeah. we will be there all week. Rob and I will go up on Tuesday evening. Registration is Wednesday morning. And all week, mm -hmm. she will be going to service clubs that will host them. There'll be programs, practices mm -hmm. every day. And then, of course, the competition the mm -hmm. last three nights. Such so a busy week. week. Yes. Such a busy yes. week. For Exciting. <laughs> yes. And as I mentioned, this program goes much too quickly because it's, it's already winding down here. We have a few minutes that uh, I'd like to spend on focusing more on the Miss Muscatine pageant, not mm -hmm. to overshadow the Miss <laughs> Iowa pageant. But we do want to hear a little bit more about how people might become involved, Evie, uh, the general public, in promotion of the Mus Miss Muscatine County pageant, if you have a minute or two to share okay. with us on that. Well, for the local pageant, which we will be having our orientation uh, on June 5th, we already have our 15 girls signed up who are, will be in our pageant this summer. But for girls who are interested next year, they can contact Vicki Weber, D. Stick, and express an interest that they would like to run in the pageant next summer. And I would just recommend it. It's just a marvelous experience. It sounds like a lot of fun, and we do have a lot of, of very attractive, talented Iowa girls. Yes. Mm -hmm. and they could fare very well with the ones that, that uh, come from the other states. And I don't think that they would have to take a back seat oh, to anyone <laughs> at all. And we were going to talk uh, then a little bit about some feelings that you might have in personal feelings that you have, that you have experienced this year and throughout the other pageants. Well, one of the main things that I've always tried to keep in my mind is um, a little phrase that I've, I've had with me for years, and it's, uh, whatever the mind of man or woman can conceive or believe, it can achieve. And I want every girl to kind of keep that in her mind. Um, it's a wonderful thing to think about when you're on stage, that you don't, you are the best, you have to be the best that you can be, and there's no need to take a back seat or anything for anybody else. It's just a wonderful program, and I hope that every girl who wants to go out should go out and have a chance, just like everybody. And what about you? What is your opinion and your feeling? I know it has to be a good one about the, <laughs> the pageants, or you wouldn't be involved in it. Tell us what you feel about it. I feel it is a good program, or I wouldn't be involved. You're right. I feel that it's very worthwhile. 
not only from the scholarships that the girls will gain, because even if you're not the winner or Miss Muscatine County, they're the runner-up and the ones who place uh, all receive something, plus the experience they gain through the year is invaluable no matter what they do. To their jobs, they learn to speak on stage, they've learned poise, they have worked on a talent, and after you perform that on a stage and in front of lots of people, that's quite an accomplishment. And one girl, I know one of our reigning Miss Muscatines said, if you walk across the stage in a swimsuit, you can do anything. <laughs> So it's my feeling then that uh, you don't even have to be one of the finalists, that you still no. gained a tremendous amount just entering the contest right. and sharing the experience with all of the other girls that enter. And I, I just think it, I also feel that it would be a great uh, experience yes, for is. any of the young girls. You mentioned the other day that you were quite tiny when you decided that this is what you were going to be doing? Uh, yes, yes. How old did you say you were? Well, uh, the first year that I went out, is is that what you mean? You said or? you were a little girl. Oh, yes. When you were a little girl, <laughs> I remember. Yes. <laughs> I, I bet maybe um, seven or eight years old and, and immediately started taking piano lessons and other things. I didn't think that I had that in my mind, that this is what I was preparing for, but it sure came in handy when I got to that point when I decided that's what I wanted to do. So the little girls that don't like to, to practice their piano, uh, they might <laughs> eye this as, as a yes. goal for the future. And Definitely. It's, you can never start too young. Well, as I said, this, this time goes all too quickly, and we certainly want to let you know that we are encouraging uh, the senior citizens of the county to be aware that the pageant is going to be held. What date again? The Miss Iowa pageant is June 9th, 10th, and 11th, and the Miss Muscatine pageant is July 16th. So I hope that all of you that can make it will be there and help cheer on myself at the Miss Iowa pageant and also the other girls at Miss Muscatine. And we want to give you our best wishes. We Thank you, We appreciate Lou. <laughs> your coming today, and uh, I know that uh, your future is going to be a very bright one. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming, and we want to thank your business manor, manager and your traveling companion, <laughs> Abby Gregerson, for coming today. We appreciate all the time that you have given to the girls in the past, and we do want to encourage you to continue allowing us to have the uh, program at the meal sites because we do look forward to that. Thank you. And thank you for coming today. Thank you. We want to thank the people who are watching us out in the audience today. And yes, we have had Miss Muscatine County Robin Weeks with us today. And we hope you have enjoyed our visit with her. And we do want to offer our congratulations to her for going into Davenport and uh, wish you the best of luck. Thanks to Heritage Cablevision for allowing us to be here today. And thank you to the Senior Citizen Production Crew for our program today.